hello and welcome back to the channel again this time from France but instead of snow we have sunshine and warmth and a beautiful cathedral behind us so currently I'm in Rouen, in France, obviously, in Normandy, and it's the Easter bank holiday weekend, and me and one of my friends decided, say hello, Hi. Um, to come and spend the bank holiday weekend here and take pictures. I might learn something from the photographer, but in the meantime, we're just exploring the city and looking for crepes. Well, I got a place. And Found a place it's not from Portugal, so that's. And I think we have to go all the way towards. I don't know, what do you think? I don't understand Google Maps. Great. On an iPhone, you should be using Apple Maps. <laughs> Yeah, I have this thing with Google Maps. Google Maps and me have a very long disagreement and we're enemies, so I do not understand how it works. I only use Apple products, but I also don't like making plans. I don't mind making plans for the road trip itself, but I don't like making plans for when we get to the destination. So Robert's in charge of everything. I just follow. So I'm gonna get us lost. Let's walk on the sunny side. Finder, it's on. I want to turn it off. Goodbye. the bank holiday weekend we have four days off Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday in the UK and after my last ski trip I was so excited about skiing so I tried a lot for about three days and did a lot of research to see if I could find um, somewhere to ski either in Austria France even Sweden but unfortunately the flights took such a long time to get there with all the transfers and changes and connections that I would lose one day on either side. So I would lose Friday and Monday and then I would only have two days of skiing. And I thought that was just too much effort to do. And instead I chose to come to Normandy which is three hours from Calais and not very far from the UK so <clears throat> that's what I'm doing at the moment standing in the town square after having some nice lunch with this beautiful 
cathedral behind me which looks like it's been rebuilt several times because there's different types of stone that my friend just explained to me that there is limestone and some other kind of stone and some ancient stuff which shows that it's been rebuilt a few times. He's gone to explore the inside of the cathedral and look around and I'm feeling a bit cold because yesterday was extremely warm and today it's slightly chilly so far even though it's very sunny in blue skies 16 17 degrees I chose to wear shorts and I wasn't even wearing this so I felt a bit cold especially when I'm in the shade and I didn't want to go into the cathedral because it will be even colder inside so I said to him I'm gonna walk around and you can go and look at whatever you like and then we can meet up afterwards in one of these side streets there were these multicolored umbrellas just hanging from the top they're not very expensive or anything they were just very ordinary but it gave this very pretty look to those little alleyways and back streets good idea Robert is busy taking pictures of the umbrellas. Robert wanted some nice pastries and we found this beautiful patisserie with some very, very friendly and lovely staff. Randomly on the street there was this really cute old dog who was walking around with no care in the world and I think his owners were somewhere nearby but he was just doing his stuff on his own. Do you want to go further or do you want to go back? get this Cadillac in here. <laughs> it's very t tiny narrow street. After a day and a half in Rouen, we decided to head out to the countryside around it and explore 
this little monastery which was just in ruins now. Our guide, yep, in English, and also a little souvenir. It's pretty cool. A little warrior. <laughs> <laughs> so we've driven for about 20 minutes, half an hour maybe, through beautiful French countryside to get here. To look at this. Abbey, perhaps, or ruins of an abbey. Very nice. Are you struggling with fresh air? <laughs> Adjusting to the air. <laughs> this looks very interesting and very nice. Something I didn't expect that I would like. Because normally I don't go looking at touristy things, as I've mentioned in previous videos. But this is beautiful. Especially that it's so well maintained and clean. I'm gonna check out what's up here. In France they're really fussy about going onto the grass. I hope they're not gonna tell me off for that. Okie dokie. Let's go in. This big arch looks so magnificent, so huge. <laughs> 